All right, Gabriel Speaks, I got some new news for Doken, of course, today. But yeah, um, of course, I don't know why my brain's like half tired right now. I just woke up about like a good hour ago, so I'm just still trying to process everything. But of course, we've got some brand new stuff, of course, for Global. We got Freeza's new Doken Fest event finally here and everything, of course. We got a new banner up and everything. I need to probably open that. So give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got everything set up and everything, of course, for his banner. I actually meant to do that. But yeah, of course, let's go ahead and get started with Celebration Info because we have a whole bunch of stuff in new in here for Global. A whole bunch of new stuff in here. So, of course, we got the 5.20.1 update that JP, I think, believe just got. So, um, yeah, I think Global did that. It was at 5.20.0, but then they updated it. And before that, it was like 5.19.0. Zero, I believe. So, because yeah, like the new inter inter interface, of course, app icon, pretty much all the anniversary stuff is pretty much being in the game. The uh, special missions we're going to get in like a few more weeks is going to be there from the um, Doken app uh, from the Doken newsletter from this month of May. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be at, probably added. Of course, like I said, new inter interface. Of course, like I said, probably anniversary tickets and stuff like that being added because we're really almost a whole month away from anniversary for Global. So, by the time I get this uploaded today and everything. After a few hours, we're gonna be like whole month, entire month away, so I'm happy about that. Of course, we got some new PLO pack, of course, for Freezer right here, of course, just like for his Duck Face banner because he does he has tickets for him and stuff like that, of course. Uh, but yeah, new trunks is on Global now, which is good. Um, of course, Freezer's up too. Like I say, the only here because he came up with Goku Black and um, they were like, yeah, we're gonna just add it on Global anyway. But yeah, these are the packs you gotta buy and everything, of course, to get tickets for Freezer's banner. Of course, we got a new quest mode, of course, chapter 6, part 1, of course, area 34 is now here. So pretty much, like I said, you get more gems, more stages to farm out and everything. I know JP just got a brand new, like, level stage, pretty much. Um, and gold ball as well, I think. It's just, like, you fight, if, if you, if you, you know, like, you fight, like, you got, like, four or five fights now, so. Um, that's actually going to be really helpful for me on stream and everything. Got to do that later. Of course, we got the, um, Elder Kai. Of course, you can, um, use the blue gems to get more units, like Elder Kai's. About her girl statues, of course. Uh, they like to be more added to the shop. But yeah, this is right there. Got a new, of course, movie Red Zone for Dr. Willow and, of course, um, Tao. Um, but yeah, of course, at the end of the day, if you go to mission, done everything, when we get them on um, perfectly, you know, done everything, um, you know, we get a new brand new support member for um, Beerus. Uh, this one does, um, let me see. Rumble Gods category allies get attack defense of 10% in battle for 7 turns from the start of battle. Planetary Destruction category allies get keep one only once. Okay, not bad though. Rumble Gods and Planetary Destruction support very much both cover Beerus support. I've seen the support member. Yeah, it's not too bad though. Yes, yeah, it's called God Destruction Pride. So it's doing all the missions and stuff like that. Of course, just clicking all the red zones will give you that. But like I said, over time is going to happen though. So it's going to take some time um, for that. So it was good. Like I said, take a little bit of time to go all this um, missions and stages done. Oh, like I said, we could probably just get it like, right after we're doing all the missions from this one. But there are going to be, I believe, more stages for this. I can't remember. Because it came out, I think, during the countdown for the anniversary. No, this came out during Freeza Celebration. One of the two. Uh, either the countdown for the anniversary, we got a few more stages. Then, of course, we got LR oh, Goku's EZA. LR STR Goku UI Goku's EZA. So, yeah. LR STR Goku's EZA. The sign. LR STR sign UI Goku's EZA. Um, so, I think uh, they can then account up for anniversary. We're going to get more of those stages. So, I'm happy about that. Of course, we got a Bardock campaign, of course, right here. For Team Bardock, of course, we, get, oh, we got new growth missions. We're going to go over. Of course, the game event, first event's back. The Bardock event's back. EZA areas. New EZA areas up for. Team product units, um, so they're going at it now. Uh, of course, you can. We got more of the new Goku event. Um, we can get more tickets. Of course, we got more missions added to that. So I'm going to go over that. Um, but yeah, uh, not too bad though. Of course, not too bad. I'll make those into short, or separate videos and talk about them on my main video as well sometimes. But for this one, I was like, I'll just put it in there because I got, I got so many shorts on my channel. I just almost have any to upload. It's crazy right now. Yeah, of course, we got the product event back. Uh, which is you know, doing all the stages and everything, and you know, get equipment for all the characters. Um, you can look at all the characters, etc., etc. So that's been back up. Um, because now you can get more Team Bardock, um, units while opening up the path and everything. So that's really, really good. You get more Team Bardock, of course. I go the Game Force event is back up too. I think you can get more copies of Ginyu as well. Or it's, I can't remember or not, honestly. Can't, I, I can't remember because I, I know they have an easy and everything. But if you do, just in case if you're new, you need more copies of them and everything. So yeah, there you go. Uh, what else do we have in here? Of course, the recent event has been back, has been updated. Of course, you get more equipment, you get each equipment, or better drops and stuff like that, of course. Um, it looks like, you know, you get this little ticket item right here for the EX. Um, so pretty much, this is going to be, you know, Chain Battle is going to be replacing that little chest, so you can get a lot of more equipment, which actually has some really good drops and everything, though, so, I, so I've heard. So, yeah, you get the yeah, digital types of, of chest, of course. Uh, use these for 10 tickets, I believe you use this, yeah, use for, uh, use 10 tickets. 
Get random ones for the blue, um, for this, um, category exclusive characters, and of course, get regular EX skill orbs for everybody in the game, so, yeah. Not too bad, though, not too bad, of course. Again, I'm going to be asking me how to get it and everything, of course, like I said, it's just, just, do, do, just doing the recent event, like I said, probably getting some of the missions done, like, just doing, clearing it and everything. Um, it's just reset daily, though, so you can do it every single day now at this point. Um, I believe you can only do a stage once, that seems. Because the missions, we get special chest, me item, EX skill orb ticket. Yeah, I just claim it before like the next day so you can actually count on it. So that shouldn't be too hard though. Um I like I said, I think a lot of people get lucky with that though. And of course also part of the Bardock campaign, the Bardock games is too easy team Bardock does probably easy. Yay. I believe now you can actually hundred percent them and everything in the game. Again, I can't remember as well on top of my head. But actually not bad this part game really for Team Bardock and that's pretty much it. But I mean, that's what they're made for, so I can complain about that too much. Of course we got the new Bardock growth missions are here. Um the do missions, like I said, oh, you get extra copies, you get 10 dragon stones, a lot of hurt statues, a lot of just sleepy guys and stuff like that, of course. Um, you like to get more copies of Team Bardock, which is really, really good. I'm happy about that. Good to get the brand new part two for our uh, army. Um, because now we can actually Dokken Awaken Goku, Bulma, and Krillin and get them on global now. Um, they're actually really, really good though, of course. They have a lot to their kit and they can do a lot of good things for the teams. Um, but yeah, though, that shouldn't be too, too hard, though, honestly. Like I said, we got a lot of stuff from Global that just came out in the Freezer campaign. They realize they have so much stuff in here. So, yeah, it was a lot. And, of course, we got to do special missions. Of course, we get some more keys, hourglass, stones, meat items, pot, and church shells, uh, some grand kais and stuff like that, of course, in here. You have the 37 dragon stones. I love that. Of course, just like, again, everything. Waking and mouse training items. Really, really, really good stuff. Again, they've been doing this really good the last few months, and I really love it. And, of course, we got some more, um... Reward missions and everything. Of course, she's like doing the missions and everything for the game. Meat item, yeah. More keys, stones. Like I said, they give like a lot of stones. Up to nine, of course, for part one missions. Again, we're gonna have a part two, which likely we will begin. So that should be probably I want to say around the fourteenth, maybe the seventh or maybe probably the fourteenth, honestly. Because I know there's some JP gets LR. Um, part pretty much our part two LR. Because it's all special missions you can do and stuff like that, of course. Again, just by playing the game uh, today. Because I realized there was a whole bunch of here. It's all the Doku Awaken missions for Frieza. So you just, you know, like I said, just clearing and doing the Doku Fest, all the Team Bardock missions. I said, so I'm just going really fast. There's a whole bunch on here. I didn't realize there was so much on here. Um, There's some more of the Team Bardock missions and stuff like that, of course. Just in case we need to get some extra units. Because it will activate. Because mine activated since, like, as soon as I got the game, I had like 55 or 58 missions done. Just from, like, the Game Force and Bardock stuff I did. So, yeah, look, there's a lot of Grand Kai's extra copies for everybody. Oh, yeah, you got, okay, yeah, they give you a lot to rainbow him. Oh, they do a Legend of Goku. Huh. Let's go. Oh, just do the Legendary Goku event with Team Bardock. That should be honestly really easy. And of course, the Red Zone um Movie Two Edition. But like I said, you can't get the beers to report memory right now. But we're gonna get more stages, I believe, during the countdown for the anniversary. So I can see that. And of course, like I said, you got Team Bardock in here. You got a little less Warrior, Final Trump card, uh, a few new ones. I think that was already in there. And coming Meha. It just a Sazaga I think that was already in there for Vegeta Family. But a lot of these ones are new in here, though. We're just gonna scroll through though, because um there's a lot in here. But yeah, um. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, this is when the date starts. So that was on the 31st. Is this the Team Bardock one? Huh. Yeah, because this is when they said it started. So, yeah, I guess it's Team Bardock. Ah, she knows that, actually. Okay. It's a Frieza campaign. Of course, could go over that really quick, though. Um, oh, yeah, Frieza Banner actually was live, though. So, yeah, it looks like you can get up to, you can use 45 Dragon Stones. Uh, it, it, okay, you can really buy three, get one free. You get um, Hercule statues as well, I believe. Yeah. One extra Super Hercule statue. Diamond, and they'll give you a lot of zenny. So, yeah, I get 35 stones. Yeah, buy three, get one free, pretty much. Okay, that's kind of weird. So, I guess for the first round, when you do it, this is for the first time for the banner. I, it looks like you get, um, yeah, that's free multi right there. Uh, they, this is the first one, though, where you get, um, this is the first, the first one, multi. This is the first one, this is buy three, get one free. I do that first bat. I do that first one for the other Kai, and then the last one here is um, free as well. So yeah, that, that was kind of, kind of confused me for a bit. Not too bad though. Again, the banner is decent though. Like I said, Freeze is good. Doria is good. Trunks is really good. Going Piccolo can be good in the right situation. Turles and Bardock and Bardock. He's about to get an easy A. So, but like I said, if you want to skip though, go ahead because like I said, anniversary is like right around the corner. I say it's every single year. Just probably just skip it, of course. And of course, you get the ticket version as well uh, for the banner if you want to just purchase that. If you want to just you know get it. But, yeah, let's go over it. Let's go over, go over the freezer stuff, though. So, we got, like I said, login bonus, special missions, stuff, like, uh, stuff like that, of course. Login bonus, of course, skip the 37 Dragon Stones. Special missions, skip the 9 right now for part 1. And then part 2 will probably give you another 9 or 10. That'll be probably like 14, 17, or whatever. I do my math. Yeah. And all the way up to the 7th? Dang, they're making this last a whole entire month. 
That's until anniversary. Dang. Maybe global isn't gonna get Topo. Well, yeah, because first half of June could be Frieza. Second half could be Ginyu. Oh yeah, okay, I was right though, because I said this before. Are they gonna make Frieza last all the way up to anniversary? They look like they are. The Topo can just be um, after anniversary, which is gonna be in August. Because for global, the whole anniversary is the whole entire month, so it's Tinabata for JP. So that's actually really, really crazy. And really, really insane, honestly. I like that. I, I like they're doing that, though. Because, again, this, it's a free celebration. It's got to get parts you can use, so I guess we're going to rely on that. Yeah, for now, it's a 6. Yeah, because free celebration is up until the 20th. It's taking to leave it on the... Okay, so, yeah, these missions... They've been these free missions for a long time. Look, they're just giving out a whole bunch of stones, though, for it, though. That's really, really good, honestly. I can use some more for anniversary, even though I don't probably need them, but, I mean, hey, I can use more. I don't care. Um... Okay, I know I'm gonna have enough anyway, but I'm not gonna be trying to be confident or anything because I feel like I'm gonna get chapped if I'm not saying that on, on, on video. Uh, of course, you got the Pilaf packs right here, of course. Dragons don't sell. Uh, Oda Kai banner, 20th. Okay, see, I could probably see like Ginyu being there. Yeah, I guess probably see Ginyu being that at half. Then that could be hold off until anniversary. Yeah, I could probably see it, or like, right. Yeah, I could probably see Ginyu being like a whole week because they usually do it for a long to make that part your whole week. So you get something on it. Of course, we got to do the um, support um, campaign, Duck and Awaken missions, um, which is really good. Though, like, say, so get extra medals just from doing missions for um, the Duck Fest for Frieza. They're like doing a certain amount of time, doing a certain category, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The product growth missions I just went over, um, like seventeen products and stuff like that. Of course, um, new chapter slash area. Of course, thirty four. Uh, Weeks event is back up, so you can get some. Just, you can get, actually get skill from there now. Uh, new Frieza Duck Fest event. Gonna do a video for that. Cause I like to do those videos. Um, I just, I honestly, like I said, I got all those videos recorded now, so I'm gonna just upload them when I can. Um, so, you know, be synced up with Global with JP when that next comes out. That is, you know, Duck is gonna be probably, not dead, but it's probably gonna be like, you know, that doesn't be up for a bit, so that's gonna be really good for me so I can get some catch up on some stuff. Of course, the new, um, uh, Dragon Ball Story event, new movie Red Zone, um, Battlefield. Oh, yeah, Bardock, he should be, yeah, on the. Hmm. Okay, no, no, this is his transformation. Um, this is events. Oh, yeah, it's Tech Bardock. Because, of course, the event's back. Uh, EGL Bardock, which is going to be easy in the celebration. Which we're that. Okay, Rose, of course. It makes sense easier because um, he can always bring back certain random Duck Confessed events. Honestly, why he's here? Because, you know, Trunks, he's working from Trunks and Metal, the new Rose right here. Out with the domain. Of course, Trunks the event's back up for the banner. Gabe's back up for the banner, I guess. Was he on the banner? He wasn't. Really weird. Kind of shocked they didn't do that, though. If he gets easy, he's going to be insane. Uh, of course, that event's back for their banner units. Easy area for Wicked Button Line. Easy area for Planet Dynamic. Easy for Bardock. Oh, yeah, chill, too. That's next week. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, this week probably will be dead. Then, of course, we got Ginyu this week. Actually, that would make sense. Depends on Battle is up. That's the 31st. Legendary Freeza events coming up for Global. Really good. Oh, yeah, Global getting two Dragon Ball Story events. I forgot about this one. This is for Planet Dynamic, the last, the final battle between Goku and Freeza. This is a Battle Road stage. New streams of Battle Road stage. Pretty much it. Yeah, I forgot. This celebration has so much stuff in it when it came out. But yeah, a lot of stuff was coming back, though. A lot of events were coming back, though. That's really, really good. Hey, yeah, this celebration, I forgot how good it was, actually. It has so much stuff in here. Well, this is right after the anniversary, I think, for JP. Because, yeah, Freeza was like, what, March? No, April? Of May, June. It was in April. He was. He, it was end of March, I think. End of March, almost April. I can't remember or not. I think it was like he was February, end of February, March. I can't remember or not, but yeah, pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over the for Frieza stuff. Though we have a lot of stuff in here to do for Cold Blood. I'm happy about that. A lot of stones, a lot of missions, honestly, a lot of stones, a lot of stuff to do right now, which is really good though. And of course, some people be like, "Oh, it's day day one." Just maybe. I mean, this is like two or three trips for me right now. I can just you know keep calm, relax, get for the missions, um, duck fest medals in one stream. I get preparing for anniversary on another stream. I got some other stuff I can do right now. So yeah, thank you guys for those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good. Check again. Now, make sure stay safe. Watch your hands. Go bust all of you. It's going out. Put on your mask. On toilet paper. If you're ready to do. Go ahead if you can. Go outside to you guys. Eat some copium. Shop all my friends and two girls. You guys are awesome. I got to think about all this stuff for love. Of course, I did it again. Lots of stuff to do for global right now. I'm happy about that. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. I'm really happy about that. Like I said, a lot of mission stuff, which gives you a lot of stones, a lot of extra resources. For anniversary, like I said, we're almost a month away. I'm happy about that. Gogeta, Broly, Gamma's Beast. All awesome. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out. Uh -oh.